Hi, I'm Joni Patree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about the sign Aquarius, what you can expect for the year of 2024. So what I'm going to be talking about is the sidereal Vedic placements, not the tropical Western place placements. So if you don't know your sidereal placements for your Vedic chart, then you're in luck because you can go to my website, galacticcenter.org, and there is where you will find your Vedic placements because there I have a free chart calculator. So go to my free chart calculator there on galacticcenter.org and put in all of your information. And with that, when you scroll all the way down to the very bottom, it will tell you your AS, which is your ascendant, or your MO, which is your moon sign. Both are vitally important. I want you to listen to both. So while you're there at the Galactic Center website, check out my free newsletter. Sign up for it. You're going to get all of my predictions delivered to your email address every week free. Now, while you're there, also note that I have a new Patreon page and my Patreon page is where you can come together with me live every single week and we will get to know each other. And I have so many discounts and exciting events happening there. So check out my Patreon page. You'll be glad you did. Now let's get started and talk about the sign Aquarius. So if your sun or your moon sign sit in Aquarius, then this means the Jupiter and Uranus are in your third house. And they're gonna be there till May of 2024. So what this means is it's been there for a while, but it's going to continue to be there. And in the third house, this means travel. You'll be going on many trips and traveling. Maybe it's by car and short distance, but you have been on the go. Maybe you're even commuting a lot, but you're spending more time on the road. You're going out and getting things done. But all at the same time, this really inspires you to learn new things because the third house is education learning and you had some great, great things happen in the area of media, all sorts of new connections, maybe even websites or even you creating some blogs or writing because the third house is all about communications, how you connect to people. And you've been connecting to people in many ways through talking, writing, media, everything. And even if you have a business, this is like all about advertising, getting the word out there about yourself, about what you want to say, how you want to connect. And if you've always wanted to write, this is the time to do it. You're so creative. Things are flowing and you're getting flashes of insight in this area of your creative talents and even dancing, things of this nature where you express yourself. This is what you've been really tapping into yourself expression in so many ways. Now, the third house also deals with brothers and sisters. So if you haven't already, which remember Jupiter has been in your third house for since last April of 2023, and will be there all the way till the beginning of May this year, you become closer with your siblings been visiting them more, talking to them more, and getting along with them more in many respects. There's just been this closeness that has really come up and helped you get together with them. Now there's been new learning, taking courses, taking classes, or maybe just reading more, but you've expanded your intelligence and what you know. And it's fascinating to learn more things with, with these two planets here, Uranus and Jupiter. You're excited about learning 
and that can spur you on to taking new classes and gathering new information. This is, this is wonderful, and it's a time of your creative talents coming out, but most of all in the area of your communication skills. Now, Saturn's been in your first house. That's heavy. Saturn represents heavy responsibilities. Maybe you've taken on more responsibility. Maybe taking on caring for a parent or caring for children, but you have a heavier responsibility at this time. This will continue through this whole year. And you feel more responsible about about yourself, making yourself do the things that you know you need to be doing, you're becoming more responsible. You're becoming like, you know, more disciplined, more focused. There's more structure that's in your life, but I must say it's heavy with it being Saturn. Saturn can be a heavy, heavy feeling of you've got to care for others. You've got to make it right for others. And you know what? Give yourself a pat on the back because you have. You've made it very, very good for many people. All right. So, and I'll tell you something with Saturn being in the first, you're probably tired. You're exhausted from all of the heavy responsibilities that have been going on with, with everything. Okay, with what you had to do this year, and it's been heavier than most years, and this year will be the same. So, Rahu's in the second, and Ketu's in the eighth. The second house is money, increase of money is what Rahu's about. Hadn't been easy, you've been really, really striving hard to be more successful with your financial situation, and guess what? It's paying off, it works, it's good. But K2 in the eighth house can mean, you know, if there's money that you expected to get through other people, maybe loans or inheritances, it may not come through. This is more a year of money coming through your own efforts, your own doing, rather than coming through other people, because it seems like other people seem to take your money that is due to you. But keep up the good work because money will come through. Now, you've had more responsibility and you've had more things go on concerning your family. And I say that because second house deals with your family in a specific way. More problems even, but you've had to deal with them. So there's problems about family and you are there to make it right for them. You've got to, you don't have a choice, and yes, it's stressful, but it will pan out. You're going to have more resources and more money. Now, another thing is be careful what you say, because sometimes you may be a little cutting and not say things the way you intended for it to come out. Be cautious because you don't want to say things you didn't mean to say, especially in family matters and relations. And if there's been any contention about family money, be careful what you say. Also, be careful what you eat this year. You might be eating or drinking the bad things that aren't going to make you healthy. Be more cognizant about the food and drink you take in. Be more regulated. Have a little bit more discipline. Okay, so looking at K2 in the 8th house, your in <clears throat> intuitive powers become more powerful, more, more deep, inner knowingness. Trust that intuition because you've got it. And you may have these glimpses of things you never thought of before. Realize that this is valuable information that can truly give you guidance and help your life. Now come May, Jupiter's going to go into your fourth house. Now, whenever Jupiter's in the third and it's moving into the fourth house, this is a time that you could move, most definitely. So 2024, if you haven't already moved, I see a big move coming for you. And yes, you'll be moving to something bigger and better, more space around you or more land. It's just a much better predicament. 
and you're going to be very happy. And I might say this, you might think to yourself, oh, I'm not going to move. Trust me, with Uranus there, it will be a big surprise. Something will come up and guess what? An opportunity presents itself for you to make that move. Now, when it comes to family matters, when Jupiter's in the fourth, things seem to iron up iron out and improve and get better around the family matters and your home your sense of security it is better you're going to have a better home a better place and place to have family gatherings and you will have more of those in the year to come remember i'm talking about may of 2024 through may of 2025 and furthermore a closeness with your mother connecting, healing, healing issues with the mother. And if your mother's not around, then you will have memories, dear sentimental memories of your mother. She'll, uh, she'll, her spirit is with you and you'll feel it. It's a beautiful time to connect to family. And if you've been thinking about buying a new car, well, this is the year. Maybe it's the car instead of the house, but it could possibly be both. Be open to opportunities concerning vehicles, cars, and or property, real estate. If you've been wanting to move, it's going to happen. It's going to be great. You'll be happy with what occurs with real estate and property coming up this year. So with that, that covers the sign of Aquarius. Remember, if this has inspired you to learn astrology, you can do this too. You can be an astrologer. My semester one begins February 7th. Go to universityofvedicastrology.com and become my new student. Thank you.